The pictures of four-month-old Journey Black are hard to look at. Deep wounds, what look like claw marks around her face and forehead, a gash near her eye. I even thought it was a nightmare when I, you know, heard about it over the phone. Like, my heart dropped. Like, I didn't know what to say, what to think. It was between 10 and 11 Wednesday night, says the infant's dad, when the child's mother, Ashley Rogers, took her six-year-old to the bathroom in her North 22nd Street one-room apartment. She says she returned to horror. She's laying on the floor across the room with blood all over her face, screaming and crying, and blood all over her pajamas. So the raccoon pulled your daughter all out of the bed, bed and, and onto the, the room. What did you think? I, I didn't think. Like, I don't even know. Rushed to Temple and on to St. Christopher's for surgery, the child's face needed 65 stitches. Back at 2141 North 22nd, neighbors complain of a raccoon infestation. City records say the property is owned by Jihad Simpson. Tax documents show $23,000 in back taxes are owed, but the city says Simpson is in a payment program and up to date. City licenses and inspection says Simpson has no license to rent and told Ellen I he doesn't, but Ashley Rogers tells Fox 29 she moved in on Tuesday and paid 375 bucks in rent. What are your thoughts about this picture, ma'am? That is terrible. That's terrible. I don't even want to look at it again. That's horrible. Look at that baby face. Mid-afternoon, an animal control searched the area for raccoons. Residents say they know where they are. They in all these um in in these roofs and stuff, they're making holes and getting in the back of the houses up, up in the roof um, gutters.